we're going to talk about one more property of trees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this thing here and ask you, before we learned about trees, we had a different name for this data structure. What was it? Ms. Mila? Um, the link list. This is a link list. Is it a binary tree? Mr. Alejandro, what do you think, sir? Yeah. It is also a binary tree. Now, this link list is a binary tree, but it's not a desirable binary tree. It's not desirable. This is sort of like the worst case scenario for a binary tree where the nodes have all become linear like this. The reason why is if we're looking for a node in here, we're gonna have to search every single one in here just like we would for a link list to look for, for what we're looking for. See the problem? Now, this, this link list is a binary tree, but we say that this tree is unbalanced. Unbalanced here, unbalanced. And in general, what we want to do is we want to keep our binary trees as balanced as possible. And now I'm going to technically define what I mean by balanced. Yes, sir. Sorry, so if the search for a linked list is O of N, would the search of a binary tree be O of log two, log base two of N? It's going to be, but we have to do one more thing to it to, to make it what you said, but that is what we're going to eventually end up with. It's not going to be, you said O of log base two of N. Remember that when we do big O, we don't care about the base of the logarithm, so this is really the more uh, right answer here. So let's look at this tree right here and ask ourselves, is it balanced? What do you think? I'll start with an easier one. It, is it balanced? Yes. It's pretty balanced, right? How about this one? Is that balanced? Could I make it more balanced? Yes. How would I make it more balanced? Okay. So this, I agree, would be more symmetric, but for the definitions that we're talking about here, this is actually balanced. And here is the definition of balanced. I want to have the tree be such in such a way that if I pick any subtrees on the left and right, the difference in heights is at most one. That's what I want. So you can see for this node, for example, you can see that this subtree has a height of one, and this subtree has a height of zero. You see that, right? And therefore, the difference at most is one. Now let's look at another tree and ask ourselves, is this tree balanced? Is it balanced? Miss Olivia, what do you think? No. It is not. What would be the height of this subtree, miss? Two. And how about this one? Zero. Okay, so if we were to subtract those, take the absolute value of two minus zero, right? We would get a number that's bigger than one, and so we would say that this tree is not balanced. Later in the course, we're going to learn how to maintain a balanced tree at all times. Keeping the trees balanced speeds up our ability to search for items inside the tree. We just saw in a worst case scenario that if we don't work to keep the tree balanced, in the worst case scenario, we could end up with our link list again, and we don't want that. We want to keep the tree balanced so that we can always minimize the blank of the tree. What is the blank that we want to minimize? What property of the tree do we want to minimize? Yes, Mr. Franovic? We want to keep the height as small as possible on the tree. 